Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a quick uh, teaser on what we're going to do with the uh, form bot now that the uh, Duet parts arrived. So we've got the uh, Duet Wi-Fi, we've got the Duet 2, which is the additional motor controllers, and we also have the 5-inch um, touch panel. And the reason we had to get the Duet 2 is we've got uh, the IDEX extruders and we've got uh, dual Z motors on here. so. In order to get independent control of all of them, we had to get an additional board. And so I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be a little bit more complicated than the Zortrex modifications. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. If you give me just a couple seconds, I'm going to show you um, the other thing that's going to make this uh, modification more interesting than the Zortrex one. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back, and let's see if we can't uh, show you what's going to make this one really interesting. Might be interesting because I can't get the equipment apart. All right, so. First off, you'll probably notice I've got a little bit of a non-standard shroud cover here. Um, that's a modification I made for the pallet, the mosaic pallet, uh, so that I could bring them both into them right here, have a fixed distance and still get some access to the filament to feed it in because this extruder is a little wonky, which not going to be a problem anymore once you're done with this modification. Okay. All right, so that comes off. So what's going to make this one interesting is we've got this board here that uh, they're using a VGA cable, 15 pin VGA cable to bring everything down to here, which includes the uh, extruder wiring. So they've doubled or tripled up some of the wires in here to get enough current through that VGA cable for this hot end, um, which that's just not good. So part of what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to redo this board so that I can have an appropriate connector come down here. And give me just a second. I'll we'll finish getting this apart. I'll show you a few other bonuses that we're going to get out of doing that. Okay, so we don't have to take that off. We do need to get these off. Unplug each of our parts here. Okay. So once those are all off like that, then this guy comes off like this. All right. So we're gonna, I'm gonna redo this board with appropriate connectors. The reason I'm gonna redo that board with the appropriate connectors, is so that I can do this next part. Right there. So see, the entire extruder assembly is held down by two bolts. And so I'd like to take advantage of that and design everything to mount on the same carriage. And we're gonna start with the tight narrows because that's what I have on hand. Um, got a couple of uh, mosquitoes um, on their way. And there's a little back order on the um, thermistors for those. But uh, so initially we're going to start with the tight narrows. We're going to set this set up so we can get dual tight narrows on it. And I'm really looking forward to doing this with the duet board on here because if you're paying attention to E3D's tool changer, the duet board is running their tool changer. And so while the automaticness of the tool changer that E3D is, is touting is awesome. I would really just like the ability to swap heads 
without having to reflash my firmware every time. And with a dual IDEX system, it'd be kind of cool to do 175 over here, 285 over here, or any kind of combination thereof of stuff. You know, one with a hardened, hot end, or hardened, hardened nozzle, one without, depending on what we're doing. Right tool for the job, so right hot end for the job. So we're going to do a custom board. I uh, get to break out my Eagle skills, Fusion Eagle skills, to go ahead and make a new board. We're going to get some proper connectors with the appropriate amount of number of wires going through it. Um, and we're going to do some nice cable management on it because they've got wonky length wires. So just going to really get this all cleaned up real nicely. So custom board so that the hot end can go on and just a couple of clips uh, with wires and it's up to date. And then with the advantages of the duet board, we can change what tool is on there within a matter of minutes. And that's what I'm really looking forward to with this build and why it's going to be a little bit more complicated. Now, one really big advantage, at least for me, that I'm excited about with this. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this. But this control box is going away because of the Duet Wi-Fi. It's got two very noisy 40 millimeter fans in it. And it's just creating this awful lot of background noise and making this machine really noisy. So I'm so excited just for even getting rid of that. Um, but we're going to see a lot of improvements. Uh, we're going to have independent control of the Z motors um, and the Duet doing an IDEX system. So I'm really excited because then we can control things like the purges and all kinds of fun stuff. Really looking forward to this build. So um, we'll see you uh, next time. Thank you.